Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of data analysis using Excel. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to perform multiple linear regression model using Excel and its interpretation. You can find more videos on SPSS, RStudio, statistics, economics, econometrics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Let's begin with the idea of multiple linear regression model. Multiple linear regression model is an extension of simple linear regression model in which we have more than two variables. So here you can see I have the hypothetical data on marks, reading hours and attendance. So we have three variables and marks depends on reading hours and attendance. So marks is our dependent variable, reading hours and attendance is our independent variables. And we want to uh, run the regression using these three variables and therefore we can use multiple linear regression model. We assume that uh, they are linearly associated with each other. So now what is the model? If you see the uh, estimated regression line in case of uh, multiple linear regression model, it is y hat is equal to alpha hat plus beta 1 hat x1 plus beta 2 hat x2. This becomes our estimated regression line. So in this case, it is marks hat is equal to alpha hat plus beta 1 hat x1 becomes our reading hours plus beta 2 hat attendance. Now let's see how to perform the uh, multiple linear regression in Excel. So first you go to data. In data, we have the option of data analysis. Once you click on data analysis, a dialog box will open. And in this dialog box, we have the option of regression. So you select regression and click on OK. So first we need to select the input y range that is our dependent variable. So dependent variable is marks. Input x range is reading hours and attendance both. So select the range. Select labels because name of the variable is written in the first row. Confidence interval or confidence level is 95% by default. That means our alpha is 0 0.05. In output options, click output range and select the cell. And simply click on OK. Output range is 21, so simply click on OK. So now output is generated. First, we see the uh, statistical significance of ANOVA table. So here you can see F statistic and associated p-value is less than 0 0.05. You can see associated p-value is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis and that shows that the entire regression model is statistically significant. Now we come to the uh, coefficients. So here we have the co intercept and coefficients. So first the value of intercept is 22.488 associated t statistic is 4.48 and associated p value is less than 0 0.05 therefore it is statistically significant. So there we can write alpha hat is equal to 22.488. Similarly, you can uh, check the value of reading hours. The coefficient is 3. The value of the coefficient is 3.19. P T statistic is 4.97. An associated P value is again less than 0 0.05. And therefore, value of beta 1 hat 
beta 1 hat is 3.19 and similarly you can check the value of beta 2 hat is equal to 0 0.266 it is also statistically uh, significant see this value 0 0.266 t statistic is 2.34 and associated p value is less than 0 0.05 Now let's check the R square, value of R square. So here we have the value of adjusted R square. So we, we, when we deal with a multiple linear regression model, normally we look at the value of adjusted R square here. It is 0 0.82. That means 82% variation in marks can be explained by reading hours and attendance. Now we can write the entire regression equation. So, how can we write the equation? Marks is equal to 22.48 plus 3.19 reading hours plus 0 0.266 attendance. So, now we can predict the value of marks by substituting or, or for given values of reading hours and attendance. So this is how we can perform the multiple linear regression model in Excel. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.